Hello! Welcome to Polywog's Home Edition. I am naturalist Emily, and this week we're going to be talking about home. When you hear the word home, you might think of your house or apartment, your school, or even your bedroom. But depending on who or what you ask, home can mean so many different things. We're going to be talking about what home means for animals, plants, and people. Let's go. When we think about what home means for animals, we typically say that they need four things. Food, water, shelter, and space. When animals have their home at Springbrook, we make sure that they have all four of those things. We provide them with food, each of their tanks have water, they have places where they can hide for shelter, and of course, they have enough space to move around. We also try to make sure that their home with us looks as close to their home in the wild as possible. It might not always be perfect, but we make sure that they can live happy, healthy, and whole lives at Springbrook. When you look at the animal takes at Springbrook, can you see those four things? Now, I will let you in on a secret. You won't usually be able to find their food. We typically feed our animals in a different place from where they normally live. I bet you could find water, places to hide for shelter, and of course, enough space to move around. When our animals seem happy and healthy, that's how we know we've been providing them with a good home. Sometimes we even build homes for animals that are living out in nature. These birdhouses next to this lake can be used by a number of different birds as homes. Not all animals can use the same types of houses. Have you seen any people-made animal houses by where you live? My challenge for you is to create an animal home. It can be out in nature, or it could be inside your house using toys and craft supplies. But make sure you have those four things. Food, water, shelter, and space. I'd love to see what you come up with. Next, when we think about what plants need for their homes, it kind of has the same things. Food, water, shelter, and space. But plants are able to provide some of those things for themselves. They use their leaves to turn sunlight into food. Check. But they also need to have access to water, somewhat shelter, and of course, space. Plants are able to make their homes in a lot more places. They're able to use their roots to get water out of the ground. Some plants need a little bit more shelter, and they stay closer to the earth but some plants are able to use more space and they are able to grow taller and taller and taller, just like these big, beautiful trees. And lots of times, plants can become a home for other animals. Here on this dead stump, you can see mosses are growing. Insects live inside. So many different animals are able to use plants for their homes. And even while plants are still alive, they give a lot to animals in terms of homes. This bee is using these flowers to collect food, and in turn the bee helps the flowers grow as well. They're improving each other's homes. And I want to encourage you to improve the home of a plant around you. That could be watering it, fertilizing it, or even planting seeds and letting plants start a new home. Homes benefit when we treat them with love, kindness, and respect. And there are many ways we can do that for plants. And finally, when we think about people and what our homes are, we do still need some of the same things. Food, water, shelter, and space. But our homes get to mean a little bit more than that. We can think about things we enjoy, things that make us happy, things that make us feel safe and secure. And our home can be so many places. It doesn't have to be a place that we get to be all the time. It doesn't even have to be where you are right now. Sometimes home means a lot of things. When we as people think about what our home is, it's a lot of different things together. It's places where we've remembered having fun, things that have made us feel safe and whole, moments that were really important to us. And sometimes we're away from our homes for a while. And that's okay. I know I miss being at the Nature Center. 
And I know you probably miss a lot of the different places that felt like home right now, but it doesn't stop being your home just because you're not there. Home is something that lives inside our hearts and inside our heads. And as long as you feel safe and happy somewhere, it's your home. Even if you can't entirely choose where your home is, I hope you remember that the most important home you have is inside yourself. And feeling comfortable and happy with who you are is just as important with feeling comfortable and happy where you are. You carry your most important home with you everywhere you go. And even now, when things are different than we're used to them being, I hope that you can find a safe, happy, and fun home with us here at Springbrook. For me, I have many homes. One of them is my parents' house where I grew up. One of them is the schools I went to. One of them is the place I live right now. One of them is the nature center. One of them is just outside because these things provide me with the safety and comfort and happiness that I associate with my home. And so I want you to think about where your homes are. Is it your house? Is it your school? Is it your backyard? Is it your favorite park? And I want you to take time to celebrate those homes. Draw a picture, clean them up a little bit. Do something that shows your home love and appreciation. Thank you so much for joining me for Pollywalk's Home Edition. I hope that even though we're far apart, we can still feel a little bit more at home together. Stay safe, stay well. See you next week.